Hi, everybody. I'm Melinda Gallant, and I want to welcome you to another Cape Conversations. That's right, Fuzzy Slipper Edition. And we've got a great show today. We have four fabulous authors and painters, artists, uh, and they have done a book called Pebbles in the Stream of Poetry for the Sandwich Arts Alliance. So come along. Let's have another Cape Conversations. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to have with me in my fuzzy slipper living room edition of Cape Conversations four fabulous, fabulous authors uh, here that wrote one book together. Oh, my God in heaven. Four women writing one book. That ought to be interesting. Anyway, they are Chrissy Lawrence, Carol, Carolyn, get it out, Carolyn Lacan, Christina no Nordstrom, and Jana, what's your last name again? Dylan. Jana Dillon. Oh, for gosh sakes, I should remember that. How silly of me. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. So welcome, all four of you. And let's talk about this book. And this is the book. Oh, yay! yay. <laughs> Very exciting. Christy, all right. I hear you're the leader of the pack. Right. Don't speak, well, but uh, we have an editor, we and we have a cover designer, and we have an interior art designer. So wow. everybody, everybody contributed for sure. Oh wow, that's great. Yeah. Well, yeah. so tell me how to get started. I mean, let's face it; it's poetry, a ce poetic celebration of life. In these times, Lord only knows. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We need some celebrations. So yeah. I guess my question is, how did it get going? How did how did it start? What made you do it? I think you you just kind of summed it up, Lord. In these times, we need <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because um, the the book um, we had these poems from the Poemathon, which we had started mm -hmm. in um, in April and May, mm -hmm. and the point of that was to raise money for the food pantry, and so we had people in the Arts Alliance Literary Group agreeing to write poems if people would make a donation to the food pantry. You know, it was kind of a fun idea. Yeah. Uh, and people who were writing the poems, some of them were published poets, some of them had never written poems. So what we got back to deliver to the people who made the donations was an amazing collection. So uh, we're, we're all on the, uh, the advisory committee for the literary arts. And we were we were saying part, wait wait Christy part, stop it's part of what organization the literary arts the Sandwich Arts Alliance oh, okay. has has three three functions there's performing visual and literary I got and you. Okay. All, all three are very active uh, so we're just members of one uh, Carolyn and Jan are both artists so they're they're in two oh. Uh, but anyway, we looked at this and we thought, th these are amazing. We've got this collection of poems. What, what can we do? And so um, we decided that um, we could maybe put a book together. And Christina said, yeah, she would do this and, um, uh, uh, you know, edit it. And yeah. I, I think without that uh, that stepping forward, we we may not have gotten this because ah. it was it was a huge project, Melinda, as you as okay. you pointed out, you know. Um, but that's the that's the origin of it. It was just a hey, you know, the, the we have something here. What are we going to do with it? Sure. And sure. this is what we did with it. Well, I guess Christina, um, please tell me. How do you edit a book with all these different poems that you don't hurt anybody's feeling that you're going to leave a poem at? <laughs> um, well, it, it was, oops, it was um, a collection uh, that, I, I need to go back a little bit and, and say that Christy was the sort of the brains behind the, the poem, poemathon ah. in the first place. And she collected and organized all the, the poems and, and got them out to, the um, those who had given donations and so forth. So she had collected all of these, and um, she we we collected them all together. And um, again, it was a group project. Um, Jana helped sort them out according to themes, 
and um, and then we all decided to um, oh the, since since there are artists among us let's put in some artwork and so and Jenna and Carolyn both were uh, incredibly helpful in and, and Christy too again it was a it was a really truly a group project yeah um, and everyone contributed these all these pieces and it, it was great I mean looking back it was I'll say it's e it was easy because there were so many people um, collaborating there were a lot of moving parts and, and Christy will remember how, how fast and furious some of those went yeah yeah right? but it was, it was I, a just joy. To, I just want to say uh, two things the the title uh, pebbles in the stream is an example of just you know how wonderfully everybody worked together Carolyn came up with this pebbles in the stream that's wow. Carolyn's that's Carolyn's title mm -hmm. and the words a poetic celebration of life this is this is Carolyn's design the the front and the back cover but she you know we everybody tossed in their ideas you know I had a a, a bunch of title ideas I think we all did mm -hmm. and it just that's the one you know, that boiled down. So the collaboration uh, was amazing. And Chris, uh, and I'm not going to run my mouth here, but uh, just to say that... Uh, well, Christy, you are a talker. We know that. It's all right. Uh, Christina mentioned the, uh, the speed, and I think it's the collaboration that accounts for the speed. Right. We, right. we did move, right, everybody? I mean... Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, so Christina, just back to you for one second. So, as editor, what is what is your role as editor? I wouldn't. I mean, I'm serious. A lot of people don't know what an editor does. Oh, do you make do you find spelling mistakes? I mean, well, exactly. there is that. <laughs> there, there is that. But everybody contributed to that too, as well. I have to say. Yeah. But no, uh, mine was more um, kind of collecting and organizing, um, putting to. I don't know how many drafts we ended up with, but. But um, throughout the process, we, you know, we put things in order and matched pictures to the, the poem and um, uh, collected bios. Um, Christy wrote an, uh, uh, a foreword uh, to the book. Um, you know, cl cl looking at the different aspects of the book, all the different pieces that were re required. Um, and um, it, it was kind of an iterative process. You know, one thing, you know, we, we got the guts of it, you know, the poems and the, the art. Okay, well, how do we select that and put all that together? We need something for the beginning. We need something for the ending. And, oh, what about the authors and the artists? Let's talk about that, too, to be sure everything is included. Yep. So. So, Jana, your role was that of an, as an artist or just a writer of poems or... I was um, the person that put together the art with the poetry oh, and no one was doing a poem um, with an illustrator. We had to choose artwork that was already in our houses or on people's um, cameras. So um, we had photographs from Heather Pennell, Dean Coe, Christie. We had um, artwork from Carolyn and myself. And so I would look at what we had and try to match it to a poem. Um, so that was a little bit hard, but it worked out and it was a lot of fun. Did you have any authors that said, no, I don't like the, the artwork that's going with my no. poem? No. No, no good. one said that and they were not given a choice. <laughs> that would have made it way too bulky and hard yeah, to do. And that's a good thing then. That's a good thing. Yes. So Carolyn. Wow, you did the cover and the back. You designed all of this. Very nice. It's beautiful, by the way. Is that a painting on the front? Is that no, that, those are photographs that I yeah. found online um, in a website that does allow you to use any, anything you want for any purpose. I, I frequently get my inspiration from them. And I took the photograph and I cropped it and I kind of changed and made it a look look like a watercolor a little bit uh change colors so i manipulated it a little bit yeah. can you tell yeah. i'm attending <laughs> um <laughs> and um and until i got that that setup that i liked uh, my idea was i wanted something that was um kind of peaceful and uh rejuvenating the water of representing life uh, and and it just kind of evolved that way 
Well, it's a beautiful cover, by the way. It is. Thank you. Yes, Christina. Um, I also uh, want to credit um, Carolyn with the um, the phrase at the beginning for finding that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the phrase at the beginning. Found it. Yeah. <laughs> if if yeah, it weren't for the rocks in its bed, the stream would have no song. Yeah, I found oh, that. Oh, the very yes, in the in yeah, the right yes, right yeah. there. Yeah. I thought that was fitting. <laughs> it is very. It really fitting. was. It is very fitting. So, um, how many poems are in here? Uh, what are they like? Thirty-five or more? I think there are thirty-two. Let's see. Um, One thing that is very interesting um, is that we chose the poem, to, the very first poem, because it made the most people cry. <laughs> it oh. was an absolutely beautiful well, that's it. Get them poem. in the beginning. That, you know, I do, I do that's a right. I, yeah, I do Robert a Auburn. Right. Oh, so, Auburn. Yes. Uh, I, so when you direct a play, you want a strong beginning. Yes. You know, yes. what happens in the middle. You can forget mm -hmm. your lines. You can screw it up and then a big closing because only people yes. remember the open and the end. Yeah. So. That's right. That's and Christina's true. poem is a, the closing poem. Oh, neat. Oh, yeah, yes. this is beautiful. Christy. Thank you. Christy. Um, I, I just wanted to say, too, uh, you highlighted uh, uh, Bob Aubin's poem. And the person who commissioned that was a neighbor of mine, Ginny Leonard. Mm -hmm. And nobody. Uh, the the poets, uh, the poet writers, and the the donors didn't know each other, so Bob didn't know her. Uh, it's just that in the donation and the form that people could fill out, they had to say what the purpose of the poem was. But Bob did not know, uh, did not know Jeannie Leonard, and wrote this gorgeous poem. Oh, that's wonderful. So it, it speaks to I think what's really special about our book. Now, will mm -hmm. you do this again? <laughs> Maybe well, we're all too. laughing, so uh, <laughs> we have to recuperate first. <laughs> uh, well, I would think though, like every two years, a new group of writers, a new group of poems would be a wonderful thing. It would almost be an anthology. Oh, you held up three. What does that mean? <laughs> three years. Three years. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yes, Christina. Um, I, th I think if we did do it again, we learned an awful lot in the process. Yeah. Um, we, a lot of, there was no, you know, recipe for this. That We, we had no process manual how to, right. how to write a book together. Um, and um, I think we can, um, we, we've learned a lot. And I think we would, I think it would go very smoothly next time. There would be a lot of pieces, but I think it would go, I think it would go really well. Um, it was it was a joy working with all of these wonderful women um, who who I have become friends with now. They we weren't yes, all friends right. before, but it was yeah. it was a wonderful. It was just really wonderful. And, mm -hmm. uh, Diana. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. Also, um, we don't get paid for this, of course. It's all volunteer. So um, the profits are going to the Sandwich Arts Alliance. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. So how much? Uh, can somebody tell me how much the book is? It's uh, it's what, 19, 19, yeah, 1995, yeah. 1995. Plus tax. Plus tax. Okay. So it makes it about 21. Yep, 2120. Yeah. 2120. Some change. I know there's change in it because I had to take in my purse to find the change. <laughs> That's true. Yes, uh, Carolyn. Um I uh, you asked before if any of the um authors of, uh, if any of the poem requesters had objections to the, uh, the artwork placed with their poem. And I have to say that the person whose poem one of my pieces was with has requested that my piece be on the cover of her next book, which I oh, gave permission wow. to. Um, so that was a very nice little thing that came out of that. So wait a minute, so she's a writer. But she's a writer. Didn't right. write for this. She didn't write for this. Yes, yes she, she did. did. Oh, she did. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm and sorry. Next I, year, your question. I, I met it. Home. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Now yeah. I get it. Oh, I love it. A coronavirus haiku. <laughs> oh, <perfect. laughs> um, so 
starting with you, Carolyn, tell me, what mm -hmm. do you do? I know you do other things. But oh. <laughs> uh, well, basically, I'm sitting in my studio now. I, I do artwork as uh, it's been taking up most of my time. I do write. I have two novels and a book of short um, pieces and a children's book out. Uh, they're all available at the Sandwich Arts Alliance. Uh, but I have become absolutely obsessed with uh, scratchboard art. And uh, I've devoted most of my creative time to that recently. But I am also an oil painter and I do some pastels. And that pretty much takes up my time. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it. Well, Carolyn, just real quick, what is scratchboard art? Uh, scratchboard art. Let me, can I show you a piece? Sure. I'll show you a piece. There she goes. She's going to be back. There I am. It I, is beautiful. This is, this is the piece I'm currently working on. Oh, wonderful. It's mm -hmm. um, a piece of masonite that's covered with um, a white hard clay and then covered with India ink. And you use an X-Acto knife to scratch in the picture. So, wow. So whatever you want. That's the one I'm currently working on. Uh, right. But I, yeah, I love doing owls. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. Oh, thank yeah. you. Christina, what do you do? Um, well, I'm. Uh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm. Um, I say I'm retired. I'm, uh, I used to work in public health, um, but I, I am retired. But I'm doing more with. I'm a singer songwriter and oh. um, doing some of my own writing. And um, I've put together some a, a musical health education program for kids um, that I that I've used over the years. I've I've. I've uh, been singing for like my whole life, um, but um, I have a couple of um, programs, kids songs a la carte and one great big world community, which oh, is nice. a, a song about getting along together and um, being um, living peacefully in the world. And I actually just sent it to the, the South um, the, um, Alliance's website today. Uh, there's a, a version of the, um, the song on YouTube, um, but I also, um, sing um with uh before covid <laughs> i was um singing there were, there was a we were in a, a duet we were singing for seniors and um different different groups um Ooh, wonderful um, that kind of thing for hospice and so forth excellent wonderful and jana dylan last name i got it <laughs> sorry about yeah. that again um so tell me what do you do i mean i see behind you a lot of books yes um, I've been writing books since 1992. Wow. Some of them I've written and illustrated, some I've just written, some I've just illustrated. And I've got them behind me here. Mm -hmm. And um, I go to schools and talk about children's books, but not this year mm -hmm. <laughs> because of COVID. Um, and mm -hmm. I really enjoy mm -hmm. that. It's really fun. And um, so, and I also do painting. So I started painting again after kind of um, just working on books for a while. So I am painting with oil paintings and watercolors. Wonderful. And I'm mostly painting scenes around sandwich. Nice, excellent. Yeah. All right, for the woman I've known for the entire time I've lived on Cape Cod. I know, I know. Years, like 40, yeah. 40, 42 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's true. Me, what do you do? It's true. <laughs> Well, uh, aside from being your friend and uh, uh, having lived here for ages and ages, um, I've, I've been a writer uh, for 40, 40 plus years. And um, in that capacity, have done advertising, have taught college writing and uh, travel writing, freelance writing, newspapers, magazines, and uh, uh, most recently, the Nature's Ambassador, the, uh, the biography of Thornton Burgess, who was born here. But uh, I, you could say, except writing is so exciting, um, that it's been pretty boring because really all I've done is writing. Uh, but that's that's my passion and what I just love to do. I, I don't have any artistic ability like these other folks. Uh, <laughs> well, you Christina, can, you Christina and I have talked music. I was in a folk group, uh, as you know, Melinda. Yes. Uh, uh, 
but uh, we're looking forward. We were going to get together and then COVID hit. So uh, that hasn't happened yet. Well, you know, it, it is funny. I mean, you wonder how artistic people are coping right now. Um, I know I go from very high, you know, like, okay, yes, I can do this. I can go on Zoom and teach an improv class to, what are you thinking? Have you lost your mind? We're <laughs> in between. Yeah. Um, I suppose it's a little bit different what I do, which is performing arts a lot of, and directing, which is nothing's happening. I did direct a play that was filmed in the town hall, uh, which is on YouTube, called The Trouble with Henry's Nose. Um, <laughs> uh, that sounds fun. It's on the Sandwich Community Television Station. Well, it's about older people who meet every week and they slowly begin to die off. <laughs> you know, what do you do with their seat? You know, who sits uh -huh. in their seat? So, what about the ghost, Melinda? Oh, we did get to be ghosts. Christy was a ghost with me. That was that was fun for me too, for a change to get out and be able to perform. But mm. I I think it's hard for all of us. Um, so, how are you coping with it, Carolyn? Let me know. Well, when I have some work that I'm actually working on, it really uh, gets me through the day. Uh, but when I'm not inspired or, uh, you know, particularly into any, any uh, particular item, I, I kind of go nuts. <laughs> I walk my dog. And I, I, I am currently writing a, a book, another novel, and um, I'm trying to get back into it. I've been away from it too long, but it really is, I think, the novel I'll be putting most of myself into. Uh, so I'm, I'm just uh, trying to keep... Um, inspired and of course with what's going on in the world with COVID and everything that distracts me also <laughs> yeah. um, keeping sure. up with, sure. with the world and everything so that's about the best I can do <laughs> well maybe as of this afternoon the world will change a little bit but we won't yeah. talk about this <laughs> Absolutely. so Christina how about yourself well I, I try to keep busy these days um, with some writing projects I've, I've had some time um, we're, we're um, home alone and <laughs> looking through boxes and uh, looking, pulling out some old writings that I'm kind of bringing up to date and look, you know, doing kind of a retrospective and that kind of thing. And if that, you know, when I get tired of that, I'll, I'll I usually sing every morning. I, I play my guitar and sing just oh, nice because it helps. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> and, does. Um, so it's a great way to start the day. So um, excellent. Jana, how about you? Well, I'm enjoying myself, actually. Ah. Um, it seems like there's not enough time in the day. There's so many things to do. Okay. Okay. And there's a lot of gardening, a lot of oh. painting, a lot yeah. of writing, photographs, um, just everything. The only thing I'm really missing is going to interesting places, traveling, mm. being able to have friends come over. Mm. Although on the flip side, I don't have to keep my house clean. So I don't <laughs> have to be dressed much. Yeah. So I like that. Yeah. But um, I do miss having my family for the upcoming holidays. They yeah. Oh, yeah. In my house. So that's going to be awful although we are planning to meet in a very small group outside my house for christmas we're going to open christmas presents in the backyard so it'll be freezing but well you never we'll know do. there is climate change so we never know <laughs> from one day to the next so exactly it may not yeah. be melinda uh, only you could put a positive spin on well, i'm just trying <laughs> so christy yes. how about yourself Oh my gosh. Well, uh, you know, writers, uh, we hunker down, we, right. we, we work at our computers, we gather books around us, we do our research, right. and COVID doesn't really impact that, you know, it's right. a, so much the work is solitary. But I think it's keeping your, your mental status. I'm sure everybody would agree with me that uh, because the social piece that gives you balance as a writer, um they, we don't have access to that as much to the friends that you know we might ask over for a coffee or tea or it's just changed and uh so keeping that balance um is is difficult but as far as the work goes um there hasn't really been any change in what i'm doing i'm really working on a couple different projects right now and work continues Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. What I find is, 
in the beginning, we painted our living room, repainted everything, right? Just <laughs> repainted everything. And, and what used to take two young people married to each other, and we still currently are, by the way, after <laughs> in the living room, um, it used to take us two days, right? You paint the walls, you paint whatever else you need, you trim, trim in, cut in, boom, you're done. Well, the project took us almost two and a half weeks. <laughs> so <laughs> I think, first of all, that was my first reckoning is, oh my God, I'm not as young as I used to be and I can't climb that ladder up and down 20 times and be mm. able to walk the next day. And then the other thing that I find uh, kind of amazing to me is all the, the list of things I have. I do have a list. Okay, COVID is hit. We can't go anywhere. can't do anything. I'm going to do this, this, and this. I have a list. Ask me how many things I've scratched off that list. <laughs> Not many. <laughs> One involves a closet in my extra bedroom. But I swear to God, it looks like I, 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 rats would run out if I opened the door. It's so bad. <laughs> so, you know, there are certain things like that that you keep putting off. So I guess maybe because I'm a procrastinator, I've just procrastinated it all down the road until COVID leaves and then I'll have to do it. I'm not quite sure. So, anyway. yeah. so where do you want to see the book go, Christy? Um, into the households of, um, I well, don't know, a thousand people, you right. know, but, um, no, we, we are hoping for sales and, um, the, the book is available at the Arts Alliance, Titcombs has it. Oh, great. Um, people can buy it online, which I think would be a great place to pick it up. Just go to the Arts Alliance website, uh, sandwichartsalliance.com and, uh, people can get it there. And uh, we'll make sure that this interview is, is on the website too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, but this is this has been a uh, such a such an ongoing project from the Poimathon to the the publishing to the launch. And um, what I'm hoping to do between now and Christmas is set up a program. With the with the poem writers and the people who commissioned them, and have yeah. a have a little conversation between the two of them, and just see how that goes. But as far as physically buying the books, the the Arts Alliance website, and we've we put in a a reasonable first order, and when that's out, um, we'll reorder. Uh, this is something that we expect will generate revenue for the Arts Alliance and the food pantry um for years to come but we're hoping that people will take an interest in this community project so Carolyn, and there's some unusual names in there you know yes <laughs> so carolyn yes tell me where do you want to see the how yes. do you want to see this all to go go forward oh i'd like to, to go ahead i'm sorry mm -hmm. Uh, maybe they'll make a movie. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, no, I think it's great. If we can cover the entire cake and put one of these in every household, um, that is my election speech. <laughs> uh, as far as, as it can go, I mean, Christmas and all the other holidays are coming up. Perfect gift. I mean, a book is a perfect gift anyway. And this book performs so many uh, good deeds. It, it helps the Arts Alliance um, with some funding, also the food pantry. It gets uh, pictures and poems out there, um, names of people who write. Maybe they would like a little publicity. Uh, I think it just performs so well in, in our environment and in our community. And I think uh, it's, it's definitely a book that's going to be uh, in our archives for years. Excellent. And Christina, what do you think? Where do you think this book is going? Oh, I can't hear you, well, I, I oh, agree you with go. Christy and Carolyn. <laughs> Am I here? Yep, you're on. I, I agree with Christy and, and Carolyn. Um, I, also, I also think that um, I, I also had thoughts that this might serve as a model to um, other organizations um, as maybe a fundraising kind of a, a thing. Um, 
first of all, Christie's idea of the whole poemathon in the first place. Yeah. Um, and then putting it into a, a, a book like this. Um, it's wonderful. It, it's really quite simple to do. Sure. Um, it's, a, it's a possibility. <laughs> yes. So. And how about you, Jana? <laughs> Jana, what do you think about the book? What do you think about where it should um, go uh, next? And um, I think um, we have the holidays upcoming in Sandwich. And I think that people should actually go down to the Sandwich Arts Alliance and pick it up, or you'll see all our other books there too. Sure. Um, there's also paintings on the wall. And during the holidays, there's going to be a lot of crafts. There's even scarves that people made. And also, if they go to Sandwich Arts Alliance, I think it's .org. I'm not sure though, but I think so. Mm -hmm. um, they can it says store and if you click on store you can buy paintings or you can buy books Wonderful. and so the book is right there on um, the website so i think it would be a wonderful gift i'm giving it to a whole bunch of my relatives <laughs> excellent so, uh, um, i do think it's a lovely gift it is it is for sure so i just found this one and it's very short it's by christina laurie and i'm sure you all know christina and Jana, it's your uh, piece of artwork that goes with this um, called Hoxie House in Winter, which, by the way, is a beautiful painting. Very simple and it's gorgeous, Jana. Very, very lovely. Anyway, musically speaking, inside the metronome ticks beats to the student whose fingers slide over the keys. Outside, the icicles drip to their own beat. How beautiful is that? It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lovely. So that said, yes. I want to thank all of you ladies for being with me today. I've never done a Zoom Cape Conversations with four people, but we did it. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Well, thank no, you. thank you guys so much. Carolyn, thank you. Christina, Jana, oh, and Christy, thank you. The book is wonderful. It is available. Lots of places, Titcombs, the Sandwich Arts Alliance. The Arts Alliance, yeah. Yep. The Arts Alliance. It's $19 and some odd cents, That's 21 it. with tax. And um, you can pick one up. And what a perfect, you know what this would be perfect for is those teachers that are doing the Zoom with your kids. What a lovely mm. thing to give a teacher and write something nice in the front cover mm. from your kid to the teacher or from you to the teacher like I didn't realize what a wonderful person you were until I had to teach my own children so um it would be another wonderful way to give this book it's it's absolutely <laughs> sensational absolutely <laughs> sensational so again Carolyn Christina Jana and Christy thank you thank you thank you for joining me today you've been great thank you Melinda thank you thank you Christy Carolyn Christina and Jana Fabulous, fabulous writers. And oh my goodness, Carolyn, the artwork is unbelievable on the cover of Pebbles in the Stream, which is a great book of poetry done for the Sandwich Arts Alliance and is available for, for sale through them, uh, sandwichartsalliance.org or at their uh, shop on 6A in Sandwich. I want to thank you for joining me today. Our fuzzy slipper editions are lots of fun, and I hope you're tuning in. So see you next time on another Cape Conversations. <laughs>